What's up, what's up, babe? Can you call that music? It's it because it's copyright. <laughs> What's up, what's up, what's up? Let's get some more people in here and then we'll start the My Gifted Guidance episode four. Give it about a minute, minute. That's fine. What's up, peoples? So right here, this is a live stream for the My Gifted Guidance. And what it is, is my subscribers send me pictures of their haircuts and I give them my feedback on them. My email is madgiftedhands at gmail.com. I got quite a few today in, in my email, so I'm only going to do anywhere from around 15 to 20 haircuts. <clears throat> madgiftedhands at gmail.com. What's going on, Jose? What up, Christian? What's up, everybody? All right, I'm going to let this hit two minute mark i appreciate it thank you i'm gonna let it hit this two minute mark and then we're gonna start the the my gift of guidance episode four thank you thank you thank you las vegas in the house all right five seconds four three Two, one. All right. So this haircut is sent in by Andrew Williams, and this is like a I don't know. He's trying. It looks like he's trying to grow dreads, and you know, got the taper on the side. Um, the transition looks good. This dread hanging over kind of looks like there's bulk, so just you know, brush that in. I know that's part of the the you know the locks at top, but uh, the edge looks crispy. The C cut looks good. The transition on the blend looks really really nice. I can't really see the back of the neckline, but um, this is a nice blend right here. There's a little bit of a dark spot right here. Just using the corners of your blade with the lever open. That will remove that line right there. Um, and then just brush this into the top. But nice taper. Good job, Andrew. All right. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? What's up? Chicago in the house. All right, Jorge Sanchez, George Sanchez. Oh man, this is a dope cut, man. You got pictures of uh, fighters on the back wall. Looks like you're into boxing, but all right, let's jump into the haircut. Um, this looks like a low ball fade. Um, the only reason, was, the only reason why I say low ball fade is because you can see a little bit of, of shadow. It may be the lighting. Um, it may be some, you know, indentions in his head. I see there's one around this area. Um, stretching his skin will prevent that. Um, but I, I do see you gave yourself room to blend. Um, it kind of looks like it's an undercut type of style because there's, a, you know, it's a disconnection. Um, the edge looks pretty clean. It looks like it dips down this way. I know you probably didn't want to cut in too much onto the top. But if you just, you know, hit this corner, it'll give the illusion that it's straight all the way through. Um, the beer line on the back, it looks like you lined it up and then stopped. Right here, you don't have to necessarily cut all that off. You can line it up right here and curve your trimmer this way and keep it natural. Um, I don't know if you wanted it like this, like an L shape, you know, a sharp. If he did, I have some clients that do this, so if he wants it like this, cool. Um, if not, kind of, if you would have kept this corner right here, it would have given it a nice curvature. Um, blend this right here into the into the the fade. See, there's a little bit of bulk. Um, nice style. It looks like you put some product in the hair. This is this is a nice haircut overall. Um, the mustache right here, I would trim those hairs down just because it's you know right over his lip. You don't want your client to be biting on his mustache hair, so knock that off. And and but this is a good job. Nice haircut. Nice cut. Good job, uh, George. A trend. Atron, Atron. Let's look at this one right here. All right, so this looks like a number, I would say number three, number four on top because it's pretty dark. Um, looks you like looks like you went for a low ball fade as well. Um, on the C cup area, it looks like you kind of cut in too much. I can see there's a little bit of a white, 
you know, the, the different skin tone color. Um, just follow the natural line, but you know, you can enhance it with meaning you could make it crispy, but keep it natural at the same time. Looks like this too. It looks like, looks like there's a little bit of a different skin tone right there. See, it kind of goes dark and then light. So it may be a, a slight pushback, but um, you know, just be careful with that. I know you wanted to get that edge nice and, and sharp, but um, some clients, they don't have it, but just, you know, keep it as natural as possible. Um, on the blend, I can't really, I can't really give my full feedback on it just because of the lighting. And I understand, I tell y'all not to send pictures with a with a flash, but you know you want to have some some kind of decent lighting. Um, so I'm just gonna give my feedback in this area what I can see. Um, it's a low ball fade. Looks like you use a shaver on the sides. You did give yourself room to blend. Uh, right around here, if you had your lever halfway open, you can remove that right there. And then I would say your one open. Maybe into your two, you gotta remove that bulk in that area. But uh, this is a nice cut. Let's see, same side, like right here. If you use the corners of your blade, you can knock that bulk off right there. Um, probably with your one open, which is a one and a half. Um, what I like to do is I start with a higher guard and then work my way down. So trial and error. If it doesn't cut, then I work my way down. Good job, Atron. Viviana Robles. Uh, the picture didn't come in, so resubmit that, please. I'll, I'll re-click it just, you know, it's not in there. Arnold Bernardo. <clears throat> All right, so at Lorenzo underscore underscore cut. He wanted to make sure there was two underscore in his, in his Instagram name. Um, he put the fade, though. Um, this is... An, the flash gives it away. The flash gives it away. I can't, there's, you know, there's a whole bunch of dark spots right here. Um, he was kind of cocky with that slogan right there, but <laughs> there's a little bit of bulk in this area. There's some hair sticking out in this area as well. Um, you know, whatever guard you put in this, in this, uh, in the back of his head, maybe a three or a four, make sure you go back and, you know, double and cross check your work to make sure no, there's no hair sticking out. Um, you went for a low ball fade. You gave yourself room to blend, but uh, there's still a lot of dark spots, especially in the super the bone area and right around this area as well. Um, I can't really see if there's any style to it or what, but um, I don't know. I would just work on you know fading the back area and then these dark spots, and then making sure that your canvas is even all the way around. You see there are some hair sticking out, but uh, nice cut. Anthony Allison. Anthony Allison. All right, this is like a kind of like the Odell Beckham look, but not too much just because it's, he has a two lines in the back. Um, it looks like he went kind of for the low fade, or maybe like a burst fade, but then left the back dark. Because with a burst fade, it's around the area right here, around the ear area, and then you keep this dark and then this dark. But uh, it looks like you cut into this area. It could be just like a low mid-fade mohawk. Um, the transition looks good. What I would do is brush all this hair down. You see how it's kind of like, it doesn't look like it's brushed. So brush this all down and make, make sure there's no excess hair left. And um, use the corners of your blade to knock these dark spots off. The transition into the top looks, looks good. The edge looks pretty clean. Um, the lines, I would, I would you know, be a little more neat with it. Um, Make sure those lines are straight all the way through. It looks like there's like indentions and you know it's not that crisp. Um, just make sure those lines are nice and straight if you're going to be adding parts and you know designs or whatnot. But uh, this is a nice cut, man. Just get rid of these dark spots with the corners of your blades. Maybe like that. It looks like you did a sponge look on top too. So if you added some sheen to this, it'll make it pop. Good job, Anthony. When I say sheen, I mean oil sheen. Amari Reed. All right, this is Amari Reed. Looks like he's cutting in a... This is a barbershop. Um, looks like maybe a two on top with a one on the sides. And the reason why I say a one is because it's pretty light. But, you know, it's still dark enough where you can see the edge. And it's not as light as a half. So, um, I would say two on top. You know, nice crispy edge. The ice picks, the, the needle points looking nice. The edge around the ear, it looks a little raised, a little bit white-walled. You can see the different skin tone color. 
Um, the part looks crisp. The, the blend looks really good. I like the blend. You know, you took that one into the top, gave yourself room to blend. This is a nice haircut. I think I think this is a nice haircut, y'all. Um, if in this area right here, if you turn that clipper around and go with the grain, you you uh, smooth that blend out. Edge looks clean though. Nice sideburns. Nice part. It's a nice haircut. Good job, Amari Reed. This is the back area. Oh, it came into like a V on the back. Okay. Looks like you're cutting too much into his neckline, but I mean, hey, if you wanted that, the client asked for that, that's cool. Um, the lines, they don't look straight. It looks like this one slants up and then this one goes down and this one's straight. So just make sure the lines are straight all the way through. Be, make sure it's, uh, you know, consistent. Jacob. Jacob's Clips. This is a nice haircut, man. And I remember you submitting a haircut, uh, haircut picture before. And this is progress right here, man. This is some great progress. I, see, I remember looking at the other cut. But, man, I see some hairs right here. Make sure that, that using the corner of your blade, knock those hairs out. You know, you created the neckline on the bottom right here, but there's a whole bunch of hairs that you left. Fold that ear down, use the corner of your blade, and come right over the ear. Don't white wall it, but just make sure it's clean all the way through. Um, it looks like maybe a three on the sides and, and the comb over with the part. The part looks clean. It's consistent all the way through. The edge looks good. Brush these hairs off whenever, before you take a picture. The styling looks clean. Um, these hairs right here that are sticking out, just brush that into the top. Um, the taper on the side looks like you went for a, a, a ball taper. There's a little bit of dark spots right here in this area. So take your one and a half, not your one, but your one and a half or your two guard and, and, knock, and knock that out. The transition around here, the transition around this area looks really good though. But a two guard in this area and it would knock that out. And then right around the ear, make sure you clean that up. Clean up the neck hairs. The taper, I can't really see in the back. Um, there's a little bit of a dark spot right here. I would do with your, your one guard open. It's a nice haircut, man. And, and, and it's progress. That's what I like to see. Good job, Jacob. <laughs> do you wash your client's head before a haircut or after? Oh, this is just a question. Coach Yates, what up, man? Finally submitted that photo, huh? All right, y'all. So this is probably like a one and a half against the grain and the one with the grain. That's what it looks like to me because it's, it's laid down. Um, it, it, and this is like a wavelength haircut too with a mid ball fade, great transition. This is a dope transition, coach. I like this. You gave yourself room to blend. You, you blended it well into the top. The edge is crispy. Dope haircut, man. I don't got nothing to say about this. This is a nice haircut, y'all. Good job. Joshua Solomon. So, whoa, you switch up your... I don't know if that's a typo or what, but it says Sosua Holomon. It's supposed to say Joshua Solomon, though. But I don't know if that's a typo or what. But uh, anyways, this is like a flat top fade. Um, right off the back, man, there's a whole bunch of hair sticking out right here. And it looks like you try to get it because he, he's a little red in that area. But if you just comb these hairs this way and, and not necessarily line up on the actual dark line, but right in front of it and then brush those hairs down, you won't have those straight sticking out. Just like the top, too. Make sure that's brushed down. Um, with this type of hair texture, I would use like a spritz, you know, brush that hair down and, and it'll stay in place and then line it up. And that'll, you know, reduce the little straight hair sticking out. But um, it looks like you did maybe a half on the sides, um, like a shadow fade flat top. Um, there's a little bit of bulk right here in this area. And this is a hard haircut to do because you got this to blend into. It, you know, it's a real long on top. And if you go around this area, you could do clipper over comb. You could do uh, a, a one and a half. So with your one guard lever open, go with the grain, go downwards and brush that hair down and clipper over comb this area. That's what I would do. Um, 
The line looks looks good right here all the way through. It looks like he went along the sideburns. Um, I don't know if you freeze handed the top or not. Um, there's a little bit of stray sticking out. Just, you know, clean that up. Um, but other than that, this is a nice haircut and, and this is a difficult haircut to do. So, um, big ups. Instagram soulmate. All right. So this is, uh, I would say like a high ball fade. It looks like, it looks like an undercut, um, Right off the bat, there's a whole bunch of dark spots right here. Um, and then it's light and then the real light down here. Um, whatever you did in this area, make sure it's consistent all the way through. So it looks like you probably went with a one and a half because that's pretty low. Make sure it's a one and a half. And, and I know why you probably did that too. He's light in this area and he wanted to keep it dark and line it up. I understand that. If you know that for a fact, then take your two guard in this area. Make sure that one is low. Or... Go with your one, let it close and go down and, and and go with the grain. See if that almost matches up to this side. Um, it's just, it's, it's just dark spots everywhere. Clean that up, um, you know, messing with your lever. The edge, he looks real red. I don't know if your clippers are set too sharp or too close, but um, if you're heavy handed, um, I would, you know, adjust your clippers to where you don't leave red marks on your clients. Um, you can make this line a little more sharper. It's kind of rounded at the edge. Can't really see the back. The style looks good from this area. But, um, you know, just out right here. This area needs, to ha uh, needs some work. But good job, soulmate. We got a lot of haircuts today. Oh, so this is another view of the picture. Mike. The barber. All right, you sent like four pictures, so I'm going to pick uh, this one. All right. At Mike. At Mike K. Barber. Mike K. Barber. All right. So I, I don't know if this is a disconnected haircut or a flat top. I'm going to say it's a flat top because you blended the back and then right here is a little bit of bolt. So right here. Try not to go too high. Give yourself room to blend, but don't take that guard in. It looks like you dug into his hair. Brush his hair down. You can do clip over comb. You could do a, a, a two guard with the grain. Um, to, you know, just because it doesn't look like a straight line. This in the back area looks okay. There's a little bit of bulk right here that can be removed with your two guard. Um, and go straight up whenever you shape in the top. Um... The fade on the sides, it looks like it's like a low mid, maybe like a mid, but I would say mid ball fade, um, just because of the gradiency. And that's another thing. You want to make sure it's, you know, the the blend is spreaded evenly. So, you know, this is like your ball fade right here, and then your half, and then your one into your two. It looks like you just took your half into the one all the way up there. So give yourself room to blend, and especially getting into the top in this area. Um, blend that beard out right here. Um, nicely, it looks like you edged him up too, and he kept it real natural, which is cool. But you know, you could still make this sharp and clean and not take you know too much hair off. Um, just you can sharpen it up, but uh, it's a nice haircut. Other than that, this you know, you have a great foundation, just uh, you know, work, work in this area. And I have a flat top video too, so check that out on my YouTube channel. You know, I explain that very well. This is a nice business cut right here. This is like a classic, you know, gentleman's haircut that comes in early in the morning, early bird gets the worm, and they come and get those, the, the nice classic cuts, the gentleman cuts. Taper in the back. The neckline looks a little pushed back just because there's a skin tone difference. Um, so try, you know, be careful in that area. The blend around here looks good. It looks like there's a little bit of a dark spot right here. That could be removed with, you know, thinning shears or clipper over comb. But other than that, this is a nice cut. Good job. <clears throat> Instagram is Aries the Barber. Hey, I'm an Aries. Shout out Aries. All right, so this looks like a two. The reason why I say two is because it's not a one, and it's pretty dark up top. <laughs> so I would say like a two with the grain because he still has waves, and it's like a, a low ball taper and into the top. Um, 
the edge looks crisp. The corner could be touched just a tad bit. Um, the blend right here looks really good. Um, the the beard the beard work looks nice. I I like that. Um, you can make this just a little more crisp in this area. You know, a better transition around there. Um, I like how he lined up the the top lip. That looks good. Um, and these are the small things that people notice. They notice that you detail the top of the lip. Um, it looks like you kind of chase that line though. It looks like just straight. There's no you know, there's no curve. So right here off the off the the C cup area, just come down right around this area, and I can see that he connects. So right there, boom. It looks like you just chase that line. And if you ask you if you ask your client to do this stretch, oops, sorry, to do this stretch, like blow a bubble, you can create that line like that. So that's a little nugget right there. But this is a nice cut. I like this cut. Good job, Aries the barber. <clears throat> Jose LeBron. All right, so this is like a a step by step, you know, the process of the cut. Um. Looks like he has waves on top. It looks like he probably took like a two guard to it. Or maybe a three. A three with the grain or two. Two with the grain. Um, and this this type of hair texture right here is difficult. It's super dark. Super thick. It's almost like cutting brittle pad. And I could tell because I got clients like this. So it looks like you know you, you, you did the transition to the waves very well. It's a little bit of darkness around the back. And, it, and this is this is going to happen. You just got to make sure you brush and brush. Um, sometimes you might have to bar, uh, use a thin comb, a tapered comb, and, and, and do clipper over comb in this area. Um, the transition on the side looks pretty good. Um, you know, it went from like a low a low fade. I would say like a low ball fade, but you give yourself room to blend. But um, I don't know. There's just some dark spots. And that can be removed easily with clear over comb or, you know, taking your, your one guard open and starting like that, using the corners of your blade. Yeah, I agree. Make the finished product the, the larger picture. Uh, yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Do the most. All right. So this is some, this is the lighting I'm looking for. That way you can tell, you can see everything. This is what I like right here. This is a nice submitted photo. All right, so it looks like you went for a low ball fade uh, right off the back. You can blend that off right here with your one guard uh, open and working your, your to your one guard closed. Um, knock that line out right there. Um, knock all this double right here with the half off. Looks like you kept the C cup dark. Um, the transition looks good. There's just... It's not necessarily lines, it's just dark spots, maybe shadows. So, what I would do is, you know, cross-check your work. Um, use maybe like your, your half guard or your lever open and use the corners of your blades. And you're going to see that these dark spots are going to get erased. The transition to the top looks really good. You can see everything is even all the way. There's no stray hair sticking out. And you would see hair sticking out in this type of texture because it's straight. Um, I don't know if he wanted his beard done or not. If he did, this needs to be cleaned up. And, and you don't have to necessarily take that line all the way down, you know, all the way off. So you could curve it like this and still keep it natural. And the reason why I say you probably did his beard is because there's nothing right here. Um, man, clean that up right there too. Follow that C cup all the way through. I can't really see the edge, but this is a nice transition. Just work on those dark spots using the the lever uh, open and using the corners of your blade. See, this is the back. Man, look at how clean that is, y'all. This is clean. The back is clean. There's a little bit of dark spot. That's just me being picky. Little dark spot right there. Work with your lever open. If it's not cutting, work your lever down. That's it. And you'll get it. If you use the corners of your blade, y'all, it's, it's just so effective. I promise. All right, so it looks like you in a in a barber shop. It looks like you have a really nice camera. You invested in your craft. Um, it looks like it says D Magical Cuts and Fades. I like this logo, man. That's dope. It's pretty sick. Um, I would say maybe a five on top. Maybe a all right, I would say about a four or five on top. 
right off the bat, there's some color enhancement in there, which is cool, which is cool because, you know, for the gram, for the Instagram, you know, people do that. A lot of barbers are using uh, enhancements, and it's an upcharge. So if your clients want it, I would do it. I would do it. Um, I wouldn't say there's necessarily a line because a low fade into real dark hair up top, it could be that he sprayed a lot of enhancement because, look, there's a little bit of light spot, but you could tell that it's enhanced with hair fibers. I'm going to call it. It's hair fibers. I can tell th th it's, it doesn't look like hair. It's like a lot of hair fibers. It's super dark in the front, super dark on the sides, and dark in this area. Um, it may just be that, that that hair fibers made it look like there's a line, but um, nice transition. Just I was, you know, maybe not too much hair fibers. See, you can tell there's hair fibers right here too. But like I said, if your client wants it, it's an upcharge. This is a nice cut. A nice ball taper. It looks like you went for like the burst taper. The reason why I say burst taper is because, you know, it's kind of like in a half circle form. Taper in the back, keeping the neckline dark. That's, that's definitely, definitely enhancements. But, uh, I don't know. Clean this back up right here. Clip over comb or brush his hair down. It's a nice cut. Nice cut. But if you're using enhancements, you know, charge for it. Charge for your time. I'm not going to hate on enhancements because I use them myself. But, you know, you want to make sure you're doing it right and don't overload it to where you can see it. And it sometimes might mess up the original fade. But uh, on to the next one. Um, looks like you put, I don't know if you're trying to sponsor this blade or what, but <laughs> um, undercut style, the edge, it circles like this, it comes like this. I know you probably didn't want to cut into that, but if you just knock that, you know, this, this front piece off, it'll have a nice straight edge. Or he would have a nice straight edge. The transition looks good. Looks like a low ball fade. Gave yourself room to blend. Looks like a two, maybe a one and a half in this area. Um, the style looks really good. Um, and this is Jorge again. You can tell by, the, you know, the pictures in the back, the boxing pictures. This is a dope cut, man. Definitely know what you're doing and... and I'm glad that you reached out to me and you're still willing to learn. So I would just, you know, fix his edge right here just because it's kind of bulging out. Um, but yeah, nice transition. Good job. Black and white. Instagram at V underscore the young one. That's a pretty intense name. Uh, this is a nice blend. This is a really nice blend. Um, looks like maybe a two on top. That super the bone area is, is is pretty, you know, well blended. There's a little bit of dark spots right here. Turn that clip around. Go with the grain or even clip over comb these dark spots. Um, looks like you added a part on the sides. Um, it's, it's not fluent. There's a little bit, you know, it goes from thick to skinny. And then this side is like consistent all the way through. Um, and then there's, you know, and then it looks like you wanted to bring that line right here. But you're like, oops, no, I'm just going to curve it right here. You can see there's a line right there. But um, just make sure that line is consistent all the way through. Um, and then I can tell right here he's real light in this area. If you know he's light in that area. Oh, wait, it might be a half and half photo. Nah, I thought it was a split picture, but <laughs> he might be just real light in this area. It might be a split picture, y'all. Is that a split picture, y'all? It looks like he wanted to show me the difference, you know, of the enhancement. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to treat it. I'm going to treat it. Yeah, it looks like a split image. What do y'all think? We're going to come back to that. Is it a split image, y'all? You know what I'm talking about? Like a half and half to where you can see the before and after. Let me know if you think that's a split image. Lion M. Yo, this dude's nasty with the with the styling. I, I remember him from the other episode. Um, he definitely he's working in a he's working in a barber shop or a salon. Um, looks like a nice 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 shop. Um, the styling looks real nice. The, the transition on the sides, my bad. The transition on the side looks very nice. And this is a good angle. That way you can see if there's any lines. But I don't see there maybe a little bit of dark spot right there. But that's it. It looks like he wanted to keep his beard natural. Just blend that off right there. 
the beard line. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Even if you don't want his beard beard done, just blend that off before he leaves the shop. All right. So on this side, there's some hair sticking out right there. Um, make sure you know those hairs are laid down. I don't know if you meant to cut it that short or if you want it that short, but make sure that those hairs lay down. Um, it looks like there's a little bit of bulk too right here. So use your thinning shears or, uh, you know, clipper over comb. Cause it looks like, you know how to style. It looks like you probably do clipper over comb. So I would do that on this side. A good job. He's really light there. Okay. So that was you, man. Be the young one. All right. So if he's light right there and if you know that he's light right there and he comes to you again, Next time, use a higher guard in that area. All right? Just so he doesn't look like that. Chester Cheese. All right. Let me see. He added the flash, so I'm going to turn my camera, I mean, my contrast, the brightness down. All right, so it looks like maybe like a three on top, maybe a two with a ball taper and I say taper because it's super high right here and you can see there's a little bit of a line um, you can take this off with the one guard open and work your way down it looks like you blended the beard in as well but right here in the back make sure it's nice and sharp and you know the straight hairs are, are not sticking out um, it looks like you might have chased his beard line kind of goes straight down so it looks like he can grow around this area. So, you know, have your, have your client do this stretch and you'll be able to get that line with a nice curve coming from here, right into the mustache, all right? But other than that, it's a nice cut. It looks like you shaped the beard well. Underneath the neck, make sure it's, you know, nice and cleaned up and it has a nice straight line. This is a back area. It looks like a low, all right, now it looks like a low fade. All right, you might have went for a low fade. My bad. Um, there's some bulk right here in this area. So, you know, use that one guard open and work your way down. It looks like it's probably like a two or a three on top. <clears throat> Jose Salazar. All right, this is a low ball fade. Um, let me see if I can turn it. This is a low ball fade. And um, right away, dark spots right here, all through here. Take your one guard open, work your way down, and then into your, it looks like you did a two or a three, and then it looks like you did shears on top. Um, I, I see what you did for this C cup, but you know, you don't have to necessarily cut into that, but use the corner of your blade and get a nice curve. Cause it looks like he grew hair right here. And it looks like you just chased that line, but cause there's a different skin tone. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's, you know, it's, it's white in this area. So use the corner of your blade and be, have a consistent line all the way through. Um, the transition, I would just say use the corners. You have a good foundation. Just use the corners of your blade um, and then, you know, cross check your work. And always start with your lever open just because you don't want to start yourself another line. So start with the lever open. If it doesn't cut, work your way down. Try on error. You're going you're gonna to hear that hair cut. So until you do, then, then start high. All right, y'all, this is the last haircut. So, oh, we have one more got in. All right, this is the last cut. <laughs> He's sitting in a lot of photos now. It's a nice cut, man. It looks like a, a comb over, uh, maybe an undercut onto the other side. Um, it looks like, again, you probably took that two, maybe one and a half in this area. The edge looks crisp. That C cup looks nice. The transition is dope, man. Nice cut. And it looks like you are trying to support this. This... this uh, blade brand, but dope cut, man. Dope cut. All right, y'all. So I do this, my gift of guidance about at least once a week. Um, I kind of held back just because I moved into my new place and also, um, thanks for the submitting your photos. Um, the, the episode is ending now, but thank, you know, keep submitting your photos. I, I see the progress. I see y'all, you know, taking whatever I say and putting it into play, which is good. So I appreciate everything. Um, again, submit your photos at madgiftedhands.gmail.com. No space, no underscore. 
Everyone, y'all have a good night. Thanks for submitting y'all's photos. Thanks for the support. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Once I hit that 10K mark, we are going to do another giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Y'all have a good one. Team Gifted, we out.